Hey, this is Rachel. Um, I've been asked to do a quick tutorial on sky overlays because the common method uh, where you have to go through and painstakingly brush it off every little branch is a real pain in the neck. And this is a new method I just read about. It's new to me also, so bear with me as this is uh, a new technique that I'm just learning too. But I really wanted to share it because I think it would help a lot of you out there who like to do these overlays. So first of all, this is an image that has a ton of little leaves and branches. I would never want to try to go through and brush the sky off of all of that. So um, I chose this as my overlay. One thing I'll point out real quick, if you want good free sky overlays, go to morgfile.com. They're all copyright free. You can use them for anything you want. So you just type in clouds or sky. I found typing in beach actually gets a lot of good results if you want sunsets. So all of these are just available to click on and download, do whatever you want with, so that's a great resource. Okay, so I'm gonna select all. I'm gonna hit Control C to copy this. Control V to paste, Control T to free transform. I'll hold down the shift button because I want to keep the proportions. And okay. Now I'm going to click on my background layer and go to layer, duplicate layer, and create a copy. I'm going to move the background copy to the top. Okay, now I'm going to click on channels and just clicking on the blue channel usually gives you the most contrast. That's what we're looking for is a lot of contrast. So that's what it looks like with green and red. So I'm going to keep it on blue. I'm going to drag the blue layer down to create a copy. And I, I, I don't know if you can see it, I dragged it down right here to this uh, next to the delete, I dr to next to this one and that creates a copy. While this is highlighted, I'm going to come over here to image adjustments, levels, and I'm going to just increase the contrast as much as possible. And then click on the eye next to RGB to make these all visible. Unclick the eye next to the copy. So now it looks just like it did before. So we'll go back to our layers palette. And then I'm going to go to select, load selection, and here on the channel drop down menu, you want to select your copy, not the transparency. And then you want to check invert and OK. And that creates a mask that uh, is, creates a selection for that dark area of the image. Now, obviously, we don't want the sky showing up down here in the grass, and these little sections here. So I'm going to select my. Uh, lasso tool and make sure it's selected to add to our selection. And I'll just go through and lasso around these other areas where I don't want sky. And if you miss a few, that's okay because it's pretty easy to, to clear those up later with the mask. So here where the sprinklers are, get rid of that but so that's gotten around every single little leaf okay so now that we've got that all selected all I have to do is uh, background copy is selected I'm going to click down here to create a new layer mask and there's our sky isn't that cool so Sorry, I have a family and interruptions going on here. Okay, so once this, I'm gonna make sure my mask is active and you can go to filter and blur, and Gaussian blur, just to soften your edges a bit. Uh, you can experiment with how much it takes. Don't wanna lose the detail of the leaves, but Something else that can uh, help too is to select your layer, your sky layer. 
and change the blending mode to multiply. <clears throat> if you had some detail that you want to keep, like, I don't know, there's this, this shows through from the other one. So I don't know if I like it that way or not. Um, let's reduce the opacity of the sky layer a little bit. I don't want it quite that intense. So you can see as that looks a lot more realistic when you lighten it. I mean, that's what it looked like before. And that's with 100%, so somewhere in the middle. Looks pretty good. And then if you want to adjust the tones, you know, can go over to image adjustment and your color balance. If you want to make it warmer, adjust the colors of your sky like that wherever you want it to be and I mean that's basically it and you can see the sky shows in between every single one of those little leaves and you know it would take forever to brush off using the old method so that's it I mean you can you can flatten your layers at this point if it's looking the way you want it to and then uh, edit it from here if you want. I would definitely do something to pull out the uh, the tones, the brighten up that tree and just do some general editing. But I like to put in the sky before I do any other editing just so the editing affects both uh, the whole picture and it helps blend it all together and make it even more realistic. So I hope that was fairly simple and um, um, very helpful for all of you. I'm really excited that I learned it. <laughs>